Hello and welcome back. Now, over the last few days and indeed weeks for you guys, and I've, I've kind of paced these videos out a little bit, it's worth highlighting that I've been looking at the Acer Store mobile apps for NAS. Now, I've been looking at apps from all of the different vendors. We're looking at Synology applications very soon. We've already covered QNAPs, and today we're looking at the Acer Store apps. Now, for the most part, we've seen the same thing across these apps. First and foremost, these applications have been designed to give tailored access to different kinds of files. In real terms, that means that you would use AI photo for your photos, AI music for your music, AI video for your video, and more and more as well as AI data for simple file folder access but what about configuration what about the ability to interact with your NAS and change important settings network settings user settings and more on the fly using a mobile app today we want to talk about AI master it is the application for controlling and configuring your NAS remotely and that's via the network or the internet now on that subject, it's worth highlighting that we are focusing on network only access. As you can see from the top left there, we are using a wireless connection that is connected uh, via a power, a power line adapter to a switch. We do not want to use the internet today because a number of you only use a NAS in the sake of the network. And therefore, given that internet users might use the network in the internet, I thought I'll focus just on network access for the sake of balance. Now that may cause problems at points during the video and I'll highlight that if that does become the case, but for me and the most part, this shouldn't prove a problem throughout this recording. So, AI Master is an app that's available on mobile platforms completely for free and is easy to install. Once you've got the app installed, click the plus symbol and there's multiple ways there to find a NAS on your local area network. If you want internet access, make sure you set up an Acer Store Cloud ID account and you can connect with it here. Alternatively, use the IP on your LAN, your local area network, to add the Nimbus Store 4 or indeed any Acer Store NAS to the listing on the app. And finally, Auto Discovery will allow you to scan the local area network, the shared uh, connection that you have between all the devices to find your NAS. Here we go, I've got the Nimbus Store 4 listed, and let's make our way in. Now, I've looked at a lot of Acer Store apps recently. Not just the ones I've made videos about, but other ones as well. Why is this one so polished? It is a lovely app. All the other apps I've looked at seem all right on the surface, but the more you dig into them, the more you start to find little frailties and issues. And I'm not the only one. One look at the reviews will tell you that. But... AI Master gives you such an incredible amount of access to your NAS that it's genuinely impressive. This is almost as good as accessing the device on a local area network. You've got loads, and by local area network I mean via a desktop system, of course, and the user interface available via Chrome. Everything on ADM, Acer Store's graphical user interface, is here. You can update so many things. You can change the desktop, you can add notifications, you can register for online access, update the ADM, um, wake on LAN, restart, shut down, all the different options on this NAS device from this one app. Indeed, not only does this app compete with the likes of Synology and QNAP with their apps, which although just as user-friendly, and full of options aren't as presented as graphically appealingly as this to a number of users who with mobile phones just want big accessory buttons. I know the more techie of you will probably not be as won over by this, but I know a lot of first time NAS users that will be very impressed with this user interface. Now, we've got a lot of options. We can learn about the NAS, lots of information about the hardware, what it's doing at any given time, and more, as well as controlling options as well. We can differ things, look at the RAID configuration, look at the network access via multiple ports. We can check information about individual files and folders and connected users. If we make our way back, we can have a look at different access control options, where we can create users, create groups, and give them tailored access, which means via your mobile phone, you can actually create a bunch of users on the fly very quickly, like so. You just met someone in your house, in your house over the weekend, you want to give them access to the files. I know what you want to do. You want to give Robbie access to those files. And it's as straightforward as that. And there you go. 
give this person administrator rights or you can make them a lot more narrow if you so choose and it's as straightforward as that now we create another user on this NAS remotely using the app we can change their privileges so not only the file and folder privileges but what apps they're allowed to access so say this person's allowed to have access to the photo gallery we can do that we can allow them to have access to the files and folders that we choose and it's very very easy to do that even via this mobile app from here also we can look at the activity monitor to see what the device is doing in terms of hardware utilization if there's spikes or difficulties or slowdowns we can look here and find out more about our nas and again very chewable user friendly although it may not appeal to the big big techie user the logs will tell us loads of information about the system and as we can see that degraded volume earlier when i was swapping discs out for a previous video to bench test the rigidity of the raid it's nice that these options are available and there's push notifications too online user gives us the ability to create um, different connected users on this device and monitor each individual user as they access the device over the network or the internet one touch backup is fantastic if we're connecting a usb drive to our Acer store nas by one click we can back up the NAS or vice versa via one click of our mobile app, which is always handy. And there's loads of options with regards to how and what direction the backups take place and more. If we make our way back, backup restore is when you want to create backups in a far, far more enterprisey way. Whether you want to back up with remote connected NASs via the internet or the network, FTP backup to external cloud platforms and more. Now, services gives us the ability to access and modify standard protocol options for connected devices. What that means in real term is if you're using a lot of uh, particularly business user, third party software, and you want those devices to see the NAS's contents, you need to utilize these options here. And all of them can be done with one click very easily. Next, App Central, something I really do enjoy, is the ability to install apps on our Acer Store NAS from remotely using this application, which is pretty cool. And we can disable or enable them as we so choose. Finally, if we flick to the other page, we've then got access to all the mobile applications on our local device, and it allows us to boot those from within this app. Don't get me wrong, it would be just as easy to press the home button and open them there, but it's a nice little touch, which I quite like. Now at the top we can look at all those options that allow us to interact with our NAS on a number of different levels and overall I've got to say this isn't a terrible app. I quite like it. It may seem a bit bare bones to the techie user but for the first or second time NAS buyer this is lovely chewable and user friendly and probably the best Acer Store mobile app for NAS that I've seen so far. I kind of wish a number of the others had that kind of polish. A number of these do need a bit of an update as well as some of the other more bespoke applications that we're seeing arriving soon. But I'm going to wrap things up here. Do stay tuned for my Plex overview video on this device, as well as seeing more and more about what the Nimble Store NAS might do for you in 2019 and 2020. Cheerio, I hope you enjoyed it. Click like and subscribe if you did, and click the bell notification to be alerted to more content as it arrives. Thanks so much for watching. Cheerio.